right, well, I think it's like it's stated. If you like the flow, the way you like the vibe, join the tribe, feel free to comment, like, and subscribe. In the description box, you can find all my real social media platforms. I only have an Instagram and a Snapchat, all right? And you can find my Etsy shop. I know my services as a site can show me you see in the discount code for the brand I'm modeling today, which is Capricorn. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for the kind of comments, like subscriptions, donations, readings, bookings, DMs, messages, uh, video chats, text messages, everything. You guys are just amazing. Thank you so much. All right. This is Pearl Fisius. Our features are born from November 30th to December 17th. They represent women's intuition. All right. And they were disregarded by the Catholic Church because this particular astrological sign brought a lot of empowerment to women regarding their intuition. And Ophetius, you represent there being no gender. This is about Caduceus, this two snakes going up the staff, all right? You represent, you know, Kundalini, which is about the crown and the third eye chakra being feminine energy, cognition, intelligence, and intuition. And then you have masculine energy, which is throat chakra, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, root chakra, sacral chakra. And that is the action, the structure. Okay, so it's pretty amazing. I love what you represent, Ophetius. But we have thousands and thousands and thousands of different chakras in our bodies, okay? And we're also talking about being in alignment with what is around us, right? If your soul, your body, spirit, God, Buddha, whoever you believe in is telling you something's not right for you, something doesn't bring you fulfillment, or you're not happy in something, or something does bring you fulfillment, or does make you happy, or it's something that's meant to be in your life, no one has the right to tell you differently because what your intuition is telling you is correct for you. Is correct for you. So this is for Ophetius. I have Ophetius in my anti-vertex, which is about what you contribute to your fate and destiny. And so when I think of Ophetius, I think about the fact that what you can contribute to your fate and destiny is a different perspective, is a different way of looking at things and experiencing life in a completely new way, simply based off of your own awareness of your consciousness. All right. There are different realms around us, vibrationally. All right. What do you have for Ophetius? Ophetius is future in love, money, business, career, family, friends, finances. Ophetius is future, please. Oh, well, that came out for a reason, so I'll take it. So the number one thing I'm hearing for you, because we do have Archangel Sandiflone very present during this time. We are in Piscean energy. And so there's a lot of different music, dreams, fantasy, Piscean energies like psychics, mediums, seers. It can be about illusions, imagination, right? And when we were younger, it was a lot easier to create because we were too naive to realize that, you know, some of the things we were suggesting had never been heard before or sound, you know, uh, very... Uh, creative and outrageous and out of the box because it's a fresh slate right it's a fresh slate regarding your creation and manifestation regardless of your age and you don't have to be an officious to resonate with the reading Mm -hmm. 
hopefully that's pretty clear. Okay. So, officious. Oh, All right. You got the hidden energy is the Ace of Cups in reverse, Queen of Swords in reverse. So, Virgo, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This may be talking about someone having a girl when somebody really wanted a boy. Okay? Like as a child. Or it's like, this could be a breakup. Someone could, I feel like in the future, someone will be cursing out another person because of unrequited love. So this goes back to what I was saying earlier, right? If in your heart, your body, your mind, your soul, spirit, a blue man in the sky is telling you something's not meant for you or it's not what's best for you. It's no one's right to tell you differently because that's what your soul is telling you. And if you feel like something's not meant for you, although the other person may not see it, right? This is about doing what is best for you at the end of the day. Who are you to tell somebody that their heart, their intuition, their soul, their spirit is wrong because their joy does not lie with you or their path is meant to drift away from yours. This is a breakup. This is a rejection. This is taking back a proposal from somebody. This is catfishing. Someone's catfishing and making pro face profiles to watch somebody. They're losing their reputation. Someone's losing their reputation. This is also infertility. Okay, someone could be infertile. I feel like a lot of arguing. Okay, that's the hidden energy. Someone's also like looking through someone's stuff, looking through their computers, their phones, looking through their technology, looking through their profile, looking through their comments, looking through all these different types of stuff. Okay, um, and if, if you are in this energy, this is about realizing that you don't get to dictate what makes another person happy. And if you're telling yourself a story that you're on a journey with somebody or that you're meant to be with somebody or you're upset that something is not requited. Listen to the story you're telling yourself. When you say, I'm on a journey with this person, right? Or when you relate yourself to a connection to another person where there is no reciprocation. One, that's called fatal attraction. Two, this is considered stalking. And I'm pretty sure it should be considered illegal or it should be considered illegal. And three, this is an abusive energy, okay? It's, um, if you listen to the story you tell yourself about a connection with another person where the love is not requited, it's you saying, I feel like we're on a journey together, but that may not necessarily be how another person feels. Now... This is also saying um, slandering, talking bad about somebody, talking bad about another person because they don't want your love, okay? Or they feel like you're not meant to be in their life. That's not your place to say. You're not, you shouldn't be slandering or talking bad about another person simply because they don't have the same type of love that you have for them, okay? Um, I'm also seeing there's a messy breakup going on here with a Capricorn. I also see Gemini. I see Pisces, Cancer, Aries, Scorpio, Libra. So we're going to get into all of it. But what I'm ultimately seeing is a need to be very aware of the reality. This is very, very simple. If someone loves you, they will show it. If a man or a woman wants you, they will show it. And if they do not want you, they will not show it. They will not give any action that will convince you differently. Okay? So that's like very simple. It's, it's not very like complicated or like, you know, I need to make a million, 50 million different excuses for why 
things aren't going a particular way with another person or in a situation or in love or whatever, if somebody wants you, they will show it. And if they do not want you, then they will not show any form of effort that they are interested in you. That's the clear sign. So the truth is, how many lifetimes have you done this? Right? That's like a question we all ask ourselves. How many lifetimes have you done that? Where unrequited love was something to become obsessed about because one, it's something that you are used to, which is a sense of rejection, or it's something you're not used to and it's addictive. It's addictive to want something that you will technically, you technically can't have. Why? Where does that stem from? Because then you can heal. Because then there can be healing. Okay? Everybody deserves to be happy. You have no control over what makes another person happy. You have the Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords in reverse, and the Emperor. Someone's forgetting their lies. Moon in Aquarius, Mercury in Taurus, and you have the Emperor Aries Scorpio. This is about an absentee father. Someone not being the father of someone's child. There being a lot of financial loss there's definitely someone here where there's <laughs> clear signs of um paternity issues someone doesn't want the responsibility of a child that is not theirs to take care of okay like they're like that's not my responsibility it's not my child genetically most likely it would not be your child okay um, seven of Swords over. Someone's forgetting their lies. And with the Five of Pentacles, if you're in a relationship, you feel very underappreciated. You feel undervalued. You feel like your partner or the person you're with does not care about you. Um, you may even feel with the Five of Pentacles, if you're single, that the dating field is very difficult and that um, there's almost like a, a worthless type of feeling, like a lack. There could be lack of money. There could be unemployment. All right. Um, I'm seeing, I want to clarify that. Seven of Swords. What is that? It's the Seven of Swords here for Ophetius. It is the Ace of Pentacles. Oh. It is the Hermit. And it is the King of Pentacles. With the Sun and the Nine of Pentacles in reverse and the Page of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. Eight of Cups. So the Emperor in reverse is considered abusive. Okay. So now I sort of get the whole story. One more. Okay. Seven of Swords is clarified by the Eight of Cups, Saturn, and Pisces. Eight of Cups, King of uh, King of Pentacles, Aries, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Hermit, Virgo, Ace of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. I don't know if you can see all of these, but I feel like there's a lot of slander, or someone's forgetting their lies about money. Something about money. Someone's forgetting their lies. There could be abuse here with the emperor in reverse or a sense of trying to control a situation excessively. Narcissism, um, absence even, okay? So I feel like this is a spiritual journey to a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles, Hermit. Studying something new could be like a new job that you're studying. I feel like it does make you wiser, a new opportunity. You could, This could be a friend. I feel like you're on a spiritual journey. So if you're in a relationship, you could be doing this with another person. If you are single, you could be doing this by yourself and meeting someone along the way. Seven of Swords in Reverse is also like a, rela a short-term relationship coming to an end. It doesn't last very long. The Hermit, which is about spending time alone really looking at oneself to the new beginning and new possibilities of stability. This could be about work. This could be about commitment. The whole point of it is to learn how to love oneself gently. Um, 
feel like if you're in a relationship, you could be very happy in a relationship with the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is someone who's happy in their relationship. Okay. You may be going to counseling with somebody. Some of you want to get out of a commitment or a relationship. Higher font, you could be a Taurus. Some of you are in a constitution, institution, foundation, church, service, corporate America, or a relationship or a marriage that you don't want to be in. Or there's like religious views that are different or different beliefs on marriage and commitment. Maybe you want something non-traditional. King of Pentacles is someone who wants commitment. Four of Swords, this is about meditation and prayer. But this could also be about healing, taking time away from social media. Um, the Strength, Venus and Leo, and then the Six of Pentacles, Moon and Taurus. Um, I'm also seeing like philanthropy, helping people. This could even be like Four of Swords is like healing work. This could be massage. This could be acupuncture, um, psychiatry, philosophy, psychology, psychologists. Um, strength, though. The minor icon of the empress, this could be like a coming into a new connection with oneself and maybe dating. You could be dating with the six of pentacles or you could be wanting to give your money, time and energy to someone, give somebody a gift with strength. With strength, it would be like maybe you guys get something together like a dog or you get like a pet or something together or something to take care of together with strength. This is also saying um, giving back to the community, reciprocity, child support even. This could be child support. With the emperor reversed, I feel like this is like somebody being supportive even with strength. Supportive financially, connecting to you. Now there's something here about an emperor. This could be your boss or this could be like a father figure or this could be a spouse, a husband, boyfriend, older masculine energy. With the emperor, someone who could even have past military experience. Um, you have the tower in reverse, the star in reverse. Aries Scorpio, Aquarius with the star, and then the Eight of Pentacles, Sun and Virgo. This could be at work. Okay, this could be like someone gets away with a lie. You're not going to get what you want, but it's not what's best for you with the star. It's not like your, your journey. Okay, the lesson is meant for you to love yourself. Okay? Because with the Emperor in reverse, this is absence. Um... Someone getting away with a lie. The lie could be paternity. Emperor reverse is like someone who's not the father, someone's child who doesn't want the responsibility of children. Or is cheating. Could be stepping out of a commitment or a relationship or abusing their power. And getting away with a lie. But the star in reverse, there could be jealousy. Body issue problems. Body dysmorphia. Um, and eight of pentacles. This could be at work. This could be about self-employment. I feel like you could also have put a lot of hard work into a masculine energy, realizing that if you were looking for closure about lies that have been told, you're not going to get it. If you're looking for a reconciliation, you're not going to get that. Focus on oneself with the Eight of Pentacles. You have the hangman, the four of pentacles, and the moon. Strength represents a love that you're not, that doesn't come around very often. So this could be like a healing love that is very strong. Um, a lot of you even could have left a short-term relationship. All right? You could have definitely left one. If this is about paternity, someone's forgetting the lies about the paternity or something like that. The hangman, Pisces, four of pentacles, sun and Capricorn, the moon, cancer, Pisces. So there's a secret love here. If you're in a relationship, it's solely based off of money. Okay? 
And with the hangman, this is about a pause, being forced to look at things from a different perspective because the illusion of how things really are, are real. This is if you're single, your problem is that you're stingy and don't know how to share money in a relationship. If you're in a relationship, this is solely based off of money, solely based off of financial stability. Give me that. Yeah. Yeah. Two of Swords. Okay. If this is a relationship, there is... Someone's heart lies in two places. It's like living a double life with the Two of Swords. But they just don't want to fight. There could be lack of communication. But Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Wands in reverse, Pisces, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, High Priestess, Cancer, Pisces, Five of Cups, Aries, Scorpio. So, with the Four of Pentacles, Queen of Wands in reverse is jealous energy. It's jealousy. It is a lack of confidence. This can even symbolize, like, if you get a tattoo, it may become infected. If you get a piercing during this time, you may end up having, like, a um, rejection of the piercing. Um, this could symbolize someone who could get a lot of plastic surgery to make themselves look better. Aesthetically. Doesn't have a lot of self-confidence. This could be somebody who changes their whole appearance with makeup. Because there's a lack of confidence with who they are without that makeup. Um, Queen of Wands in reverse is also like vindictive, malicious, five of cups. There is sadness about this. There could be like a, um, a will of trust and inheritance that comes in from someone passing away. Someone could be hoarding money away from another person. Okay. But, uh, High Priestess, this is also talking about someone who, this could be like the tarot card reader, the psychic, the shaman, the medium, the seer, um, spirit, like a healer. Um, but the High Priestess is also talking about someone you have an emotional, spiritual connection with, but it's never been grounded into the physical reality, into a commitment. So it's like an addictive love, an addictive love, basically. An addictive love where you could be doing this by yourself. Now, you know if this resonates for you and you feel like, yeah, I have a spiritual and emotional connection with somebody, but I'm with another person. You don't know if this is for you. But you'll also know if you're here and there's no reciprocation from another person because they're genuinely not interested, but you have connected spiritually, emotionally to them. And you're on a journey by yourself, technically. But there is like some type of connection to somebody where it's constant disappointment and it's all about money. It's addictive. It's like, it's an addictive love because this is like wanting, this is wanting a love that's not requited. You could live with somebody that you want to get rid of. You could live with a past lover. Venus and Aries with the four of wands. You could live with this person. You could be trying to sell a home, leave a person. Um, some of you are the queen of wands trying to get guidance from a tarot card reader, psychic, shamans, medium, sees your intuition. Your intuition telling you that if it makes you feel low self-esteem, it makes you feel a lot of regret and sorrow and sadness and ugly crying, it's not meant to be in your life. So I'm trying to make excuses for somebody about why they don't want to do something. If they wanted to, they would. So how many past lives have you gone through over and over and over again making excuses for other people for why they don't do something? That would make you happy because then there's a connection between you two that you have made in your mind or you feel in your soul and your gut but is not even present on the current reality because it doesn't exist with somebody this is not love you're with somebody because you want to be with somebody you're not with somebody because you don't want to be with somebody it's simple 
you love someone, you show them that you love them. You don't love someone, then you don't show them love. It's very simple. The love is in reverse, Gemini. Seven of Pentacles, Saturn and Taurus. You don't want to invest in this anymore. It could be a home. It could be a lover. It could be a connection. If this is a relationship, someone has a lover in their relationship and a lover outside of their relationship. This could be like canceling a celebration or a wedding or a party. Not wanting to invest in something anymore because you're not happy with what you're getting back. You're not happy. This is not lover energy. It's actually the devil. Which in traditional tarot, this would be like the good side of love. This would be like the bad side of love. So what you're realizing is real love doesn't include 50 million different people. It doesn't. You have the king of wands in reverse. Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesus. Cancer, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesus. King of wands in reverse is... Both Queen of Wands, King of Wands in Reverse is about seeking um, attention. Uh, King of Wands in Reverse is jealous or abusive. Um, there's a lot of abusive energy. This is not something that should be normalized. As if it's perfectly fine that someone's abusive or hurting someone. or Some, some of you are just not genuinely sexually interested. Queen of Wands, King of Wands in Reverse, you guys could be in a relationship or a commitment but you're not interested sexually in whoever you're with or it's all about sex okay now you have the three of swords saturn and libra heartbreak something snatching your soul snatching your heart the king of wands reverse is also symbolizing someone that isn't a good role model as a father, or it could be promiscuous. Queen of Wands in reverse could be promiscuous. It's like this isn't about love, this is about sex. It's about being wanted instead of wanting better for yourself, wanting something genuine, wanting something real. Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Sagittarius, Taurus, Virgo. Someone is coming into your life to see your nurturing nature, but this could also be a co worker. Queen of Pentacles can be very nurturing, loving, kind. I feel like this is also you taking good care of yourself. Healing from energies that have no intention of giving any form of commitment. And instead of telling yourself fantasy, this is about allowing your imagination to create a new reality. And that is something you're doing on your own. You can be very financially grounded and stable as well. I feel like a king of pentacles is coming into your life if they aren't already in your life, okay? And of course, if you feel happy in your relationship and commitment, do what's best for you. If you don't, then do what's best for you at the end of the day. You're a grown adult. Three of Wands, Sun and Aries. Five of Wands, Saturn and Leo. And the Wheel of Fortune, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio. Sagittarius. Communication. This could be communication from a lot of different people. You could be an athlete. I feel like someone could be injured. King of Wands is in reverse. Queen of Wands is in reverse. Someone's injured. Or not healthy. Star in reverse is someone not being healthy. Someone could be of poor health. Oh, okay, now I get it. The Emperor lied about stealing at work. Or from someone at work. They lied. They got away with a lie about stealing at work. Okay? They got away with some kind of lie or infidelity at work. I feel like if you're wishing for a reconciliation at work, it's not going to happen. Someone got away with, with theft. Star reverses theft. Someone got away with theft. With stealing money or something from someone. But the Three of Wands is a vocal exchange of emotion. This is starting a new relationship, starting to date somebody. You could be dating someone new. Meeting someone from a different country, different state, different ethnicity. Communicating to someone over waters even. Or meeting someone new over waters. Traveling even. You could be relocating. Um, some of you are fine. You could be meeting this person online. I feel like a lot of people could be interested in you with the five of wands. A lot of different communication coming at you. 
with the Wheel of Fortune, taking a risk. It's also saying if you want something in your life, you got to take a risk to go after and get it. Okay, you have to take a risk to follow your destiny and your fate. Now, to clarify the Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Scorpio, Ephesians, Nine of Wands, Moon and Sagittarius, and the Two of Cups, Venus and Cancer could be Leo. If you're in a relationship, you feel like, rather it's a man or a woman, you feel like they bring drama into the relationship, like they seek drama. That's how you feel, like they seek drama. Like they never have anything good to say, um, like they're giving up, all right? And that gives you the opportunity to go after new love, okay? Which is your right to do. Go after new love. I feel like you'd be meeting someone brand new. Okay, congratulations. Mercury and Gemini, Ten of Swords, rising above the gossip, death, Scorpio, devil, Capricorn. I also feel like there was a res there's like you're trying to heal without changing the toxic energy or staying connected to the toxic energy. You can't have it both ways. This not Burger King. You can't have it your way. All right. Not in this little situation where you want to have change. You want to heal and rise above everything. Right. But at the same time, you don't want things to actually change or transform with the way you feel about yourself or as you move forward in your life. Because you want to stay connected to the devil, Capricorn energy. That could be a person, place, thing, an energy, a vibration. Addiction. Um, devil could just symbolize like your shadow self. Healing from the shadow parts of yourself that you didn't want to change. Or the connections that you said I really wanted to keep even though it's blocking your heart chakra and leaving you in a place where there's no fulfillment. There's no happiness. This is low vibrational with the king of wands, queen of wands in reverse. You can't sit in a, in a space of constantly wishing for something that another person does not want. You can't say we're on a journey together or you can't say that this is the person I'm just supposed to be with. I'm meant to be with da 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 What in this person? Soul and spirit and what their deceased loved ones and spirit gods of light, ancestors of light are telling them is that you guys are not meant to be together. You have to allow people to choose what makes them happy. Can you tell me about um Queen of Pentacles? This is nice for the Queen of Pentacles, please. Wow. Someone's catfishing the Queen of Pentacles or gossiping about the Queen of Pentacles or stalking the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Maybe you're not talking to the Queen of Pentacles. And then there's the King of Swords, but you're watching the Queen of Pentacles. Anything else? Nine of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. Busying yourself. Someone could be busying themselves with work. A lot of responsibilities. But I see there being a rejection here. Someone's taking back a proposal or something. Clarifying the Queen of Pentacles. You have the Page of Swords, Aquarius, but Gemini. Someone's stalking. Using other profiles to look at um, the Queen of Pentacles. Using other profiles. The Page of Swords in reverse can also be gossip. The Page of Swords in reverse can also symbolize catfishing. Using other profiles to look at someone snooping. Um, gossiping about the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles is minding her business. Okay? But the Page of Swords in reverse is also lying. It's manipulation. It could be um, not talking, but you see how he's heavily looking at her. Or she's heavily looking at her. Someone's looking at the Queen of Pentacles or catfishing. Impersonating as the Queen of Pentacles. Like using technology to impersonate as her. Five of Swords, Venus, and Aquarius. This is mind games. This is severing of ties. Rape, murder, crime, divorce, breakup. Not telling the truth about it with the Ace of Swords, Aquarius, but Gemini. Taking new love offers, Moon and Cancer. Able to now take new love offers. Not in any rush to be in a relationship and a commitment. Venus and Virgo, the minor icon of the Empress. 
And then you have King of Swords, Capricorn, Aquarius, Super Gemini, Ten of Wands, Saturn, and Sagittarius. I'm actually saying someone could be a lawyer or they have a good reputation. Okay, King of Swords has a good reputation. Um, this person could be coming towards you to communicate to you. They may be watching you. They have a lot of responsibilities on their plate, but they're getting rid of a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Page of Cups was in reverse, so they, they could be getting rid of a vibration, an energy, or a person, okay? Uh, lack of emotional maturity or taking back an engagement or a proposal. No longer juggling. There could be no money for the non-essentials, no contingency plan. What's that? Justice. You may be fighting over a home. Libra with the 401. Maybe fighting over a home or a relationship, trying to get out of a relationship. Page of Cups. From the Page of Cups to reverse. It's unrequited love or it's like someone is taking back a proposal. Someone's bratty. Very bratty. Knight of Pentacles, Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, Pisces, Sagittarius. Well, it's Leo, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, Aquarius, okay? Um, the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is about body dysmorphia, not liking something on your body. It can also symbolize theft, not wanting commitment, infidelity, not the page of cups in reverse, not apologizing, okay? Um, that could be someone to you, you to someone else, but the Knight of Pentacles in reverse is also like, financially unstable um you could also be getting rid of a queen of cups in reverse gemini cancer pisces scorpio nine of swords mars and gemini this is a scandal i feel like six of cups you could have children with this person or you live past lives with this person six of cups also represents the past some elementary school middle school high school college okay just your past in general you could just have history with someone you could meet this person tomorrow and have known them in another life but with the queen of cups in reverse this is also emotional manipulation mothering issues this could be talking about your childhood okay nine of swords in reverse this is a breakdown so i'm gonna have a breakdown so i'm gonna have a breakdown i feel like it's emotionally unstable nine of pentacles in reverse though someone is um dropping out or they're not faithful that's why they don't want to be invested in this someone could be unemployed or they work a lot this the knight of pentacles in reverse is like someone who doesn't have real conversations with you uh usually the knight of pentacles in reverse is also someone who may play video games and like video games they drown themselves out from the rest of the world okay the knight of pentacles likes the material he he likes to stay close to home I feel like you could be, yeah, Eight of Swords, seeing something more clearly, Jupiter and Gemini. Coming out of victim mentality to who your empress is, Taurus Libra. Okay? Person could even be at work, Mars and Capricorn. You haven't taken any energy or any action towards somebody or communicate. You could have blocked this empress. Someone blocked the empress or is not communicating to the empress at all. You could be at a distance from someone. This could be someone brand new as well. Somebody could even be online uh, dating, but the empress, you now see who your empress is. You now know your value and your worth as well. You're watching the empress heavily. Someone's got their little eye on the empress. And she doesn't see you. Who is that? Who's watching the Empress? A family friend, a uh, Knight of Wands. This person could be someone you meet when you're too busy having fun. This person could be uh, a family friend, Ten of Pentacles, Mercury, and Virgo. This person may come from um, a very loving, comforting family. You may meet this person during a family business. You may own your own business with the Empress. Chariot in reverse. There could be a car accident here. Cancer. 
something about car repair. Maybe someone needs to get their car repaired. But pay the pentacles towards Virgo Capricorn. I think good financial news is coming in. This could be a co-worker or someone you meet at a college, a university, a health seminar, conference. Okay. Yeah. It's the magician. It's someone who checks off all your boxes. Gemini, Aries, Virgo, Scorpio. Okay? It's someone who matches, like, who, they check off all your boxes. Ooh! I'm not taking all that. That's crazy. It's a scandal. The Nine of Swords just came out. It's a scandal because it's the Ten of Cups. So regardless of what you believe, you can believe in many things. Soulmate or twin flames or uh, just love. Love. We promote just love here at Psychic Sid. This is a Dustin beautiful connection. This is someone where you guys are both very powerful and bring out the best of one another. This person will be communicating. Um, Ten of Cups, it's ultimate fulfillment, Mars and Pisces. This is a relationship where you'll be the happiest you've ever been with another person. Congrats, 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 congrats. That's the hidden energy. That is the hidden energy. So, that's your happily ever, this is your happily ever after person. Okay, it's like your happily ever after. This, you may be pregnant, someone could be pregnant. Someone could end up getting you pregnant as well. Yeah, it's wish fulfillment. Someone could be moving very fast towards you. It could be a Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. Person could be at a distance, could be traveling towards you. They could do labor work. Labor. Knight of Wands is labor. Um, but yeah, Nine of Cups, Jupiter, and Pisces. This person moves very fast. But it will be a commitment relationship where maybe you guys have no... Like, this is like a love that stands the test of time. It gently teaches you to love yourself. It is two people who know how to have a commitment and a relationship. And they believe in relationships and commitments. So that's what I got for you there. I see a lot of you are starting a brand new relationship with the Three of Wands. Congratulations. Rising above a really messy ending as well. Okay. To create one's world in any of the arts takes courage. So whatever it is you creatively do, getting in tune with that, okay, um, expressing yourself through that, that takes a lot of courage to put your like soul out on a canvas or in a song or in a design or in a video. I took a deep breath and listened to the old bray of my heart. I am, I am, I am. When you don't know what you are or where you're going or what you're doing, Sylvia Plath, and then you have Georgia O'Keefe. If you don't know what you're doing, where you're going, what's next, who you are, remember I am. And that is important in itself. You exist. You matter. You have value. I am. I am. That's very powerful. I am. I am. All right. Denial. Detach with love to clearly see the truth. I feel like somebody new is coming into your life. The truth is, is if somebody really loved you, they would show it. So don't make excuses for someone who may not be showing you love because they don't want to. They don't feel that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's just don't attach yourself to them because it'll never be requited. True love, this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional. Obsession, someone in this connection is gripped by obsessive thoughts. And support, lean on your inner circle during this time. You could be hanging out with friends more. Balance, one person is giving too much in this relationship. It does look imbalanced. It does. It does look imbalanced. And you know, if it's imbalanced, it's not, you know, making you happy or satisfied there could be other people involved here with the five of wands 
a lot of inner conflict about this. A lot of you cannot trust this person with the Seven of Swords, Moon, and Aquarius. You can't trust whoever you're dealing with. You can't trust them. There's, there's, there's no trust. There's, there's no trust. I see happy with your hat. Somebody likes hats. I feel like saying Leo. Sad and angry. And you have stressed at the bottom of the deck. I feel like someone gets migraines. Someone gets migraines. All right, let's get you one of these. But yeah, this is really about accepting new love, new love. You have to understand that even if you feel like, oh my God, you're not listening to your intuition or meant to be da 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 Another person's intuition and soul and spirit guides is telling them, you're not meant to be in their life, and that's for a reason. So how many lifetimes are you going to go where you spend many years focused on an unrequited love situation? That's not what you're destined to live with every lifetime. You're meant to do something differently. Constancy. This is about faithfulness. This is about independence. This is the minor arcana of the empress. And hope. Having hope. Having hope. Let me see if I can show you guys that. Having hope. Having hope. Having hope. Constancy is about independence. You don't actually need any body. Okay? I do see obsession, though. It's because it's an addictive type of love. Because you're so used to being rejected. You're so used to... Dealing with something where you're constantly on the grip of achieving happiness in your mind, but the truth is it's not manifesting into the reality. A connection that you feel like will make you very happy, but it's not manifesting because it's not meant to. And so you're clinging on to it, trying to still manifest it, but the truth is it's not manifesting because the other person doesn't feel the same way. You have addicted to social media. In the near future, supportive is at the bottom of the deck. And you have confident and giving of themselves. All right. I'm going to put you on a charger soon. Grand trying blessings, 46 breaking down to a 10, Saturn truth, 6. This is about how you're publicly recognized, masculine figures, Capricorn energy, karma, public recognition, um, the military. This is also talking about the shadow self. What goes around comes around, right? And it's like your blessings are attached to maybe you come from a wealthy family or you have a talent that makes you a lot of money. It means you still have to work on the craft. There's still things to improve on oneself to build upon yourself. All right, let's get you one of these. Core. I was looking at this card earlier today. This is the core of your inner being. What did I say? Your soul, your core, right? Usually you can really trust your gut instinct, which is the solar plexus, by the confidence that you have in the situation and yourself. If it feels right, if it feels good. Um, but this is our inner selves telling us what is best for us, for ourselves. No one else can tell you what is best for you. It's not like you would listen anyways. So you have summer. So something could be happening in the summertime. Someone could be born in summer. Something could happen in the summer. Um, this is like Cancer, Leo, and Virgo energy. All right. You have desire and treason, so there could have been theft with money here, stealing something, stealing someone's joy. No one can take away the way that you feel or your emotions. No one can take that away. So if you think someone coming into your life is going to make you feel a lot better and more fulfilled and your life will be all great and dandy, that's not true. And if you're feeling like, oh, um, I'm relying on, because this says star pirate, which is about taking, piracy is about taking. This is about realizing you cannot take away anyone's joy. 
you also can't tell somebody what their joy is. House. This is definitely about a house situation. You could be trying to move out of a house. Living it uncomfortably. Wherever you are, it, whatever your environment is, you're uncomfortable. This could be with an X. Doesn't have to be. P. He's in a pot. I feel like it's too close for comfort. Kitten. K. Okay? Someone could like cats or something. And lion. You could be dealing with a Leo. You have cat. C. Okay, so that could be a spirit animal for you. And taxi, some of you do Uber or Lyft, that types of work. Let me see how much charge we got. I was just checking how much charge I have. All right, let's get into your spirit animals. Hmm. Someone is not motivated. Some of you are not motivated regarding what you do for work. You want to do something different? You have the ego, master. You are on a spiritual journey beyond the sky. Let go of the past and soar. You are guided by the winds of spirit. Your wisdom inspires the world. This is about liberation, emancipation, independence. Loon, intuitive. Listen to the song in your soul. Trust your intuition as you have a way of knowing. Emerge from the busy life and seek more solitude. Recognize that you are unique and that you are loved. But yeah, that's the main gist. Because the King of Wands in reverse, that could be lack of action as well. Or abuse. Or just cheating. That could be like a married man that cheats or something like that. Or someone in a relationship. Oh my God. Someone in a relationship that cheats. But you could also just be angry. King of Wands, Queen of Wands in reverse. You could just be angry. Right? In a situation that brings you a lack of confidence. Feeling like, why am I dealing with somebody? Some of you are married. You have soul searching. Okay. You have tired and standing wife decisions and choices. All right. So some of you are married. I see some of you are happy to be married and others of you are not happy to be married for whatever reason. Whoever you're romantically connecting to is focused on work and money. You have a lot of cards. Oh, fishes. Lots to say. Within three months. I also saw this card earlier today, too. I'm hearing a couple songs for you. Let me see if you can see it. So the first song I'm hearing for you is I Want to Know. I want to know what turns you on. Right? Girl, I want to know. And then I'm hearing, um, I want to love you and treat you right. I want to love you every day and every night. We'll be together with the roof right over our heads. We'll share the shelter. Of my single bed, unhappy without you, blending families, go for it. Someone could also be financially unstable, relocation, some of you are moving, leaving something behind could be an area, putting in the effort, conflict, resolved, focus on work and money, surprise, make the first move. When you least expect it, selfish, next month, and someone new on your path. So someone new is coming into your life. Accept this blessing. Someone will show you through action that they are interested in you. Man, woman, doesn't matter. Beauty. The beauty that you recognize in the world is simply a reflection of your own. When I was a child, I used to hear that song by Bob Marley. And it would go through our house. I used to think it was beautiful that a love like that could exist. A love that was so pure, a love that wasn't based off of money, a love that wasn't based off of what others thought, but just a love that you feel for another and another feels for you and you feel for yourself. I thought I just I just used to think that was absolutely gorgeous that it exists. That you could feel that in your present moment with yourself. All right. 
The beauty that you recognize in the world is simply a reflection of your own. Take time to appreciate all of the beauty inside and out in your life. There's a way of instantly shifting your perspective to one of gratitude, being grateful for the beauty of life. Love, you are the essence of love, therefore it is accessible around you at all times. Use love, especially for self, to make decisions and connections that honor your needs and wants. The heart, you could be dealing with a Leo. The heart is Leo energy. You could also be dealing with a Cancer, okay? Or a Pisces. Ten of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles, Dolly Parton. Working nine to five. You know, they used to ask her, like, in interviews, do you know people make fun of you for the way you look? And you wear these this big hair and these, these tall heels. And you look a particular way. Do you know people make fun of you? She just, she just say, yeah. I dress like this on purpose because it makes me happy. And I do a damn good job at what I do. This is about nurturing yourself, loving yourself, being a good businesswoman. I love it. Mercury and Virgo, lead belly. Some of you are coming into a large windfall of money, honey. Congratulations. Could also be like an inheritance. Congrats, congrats, congrats. Someone's getting a car. Congratulations. Or a home or land, property, realty, a job, family business. You could inherit the family business. Target a goal-oriented person. You may also be meeting or falling in love with a family friend, meeting someone who comes from a wealthy background, marrying into money. A dog far away, a distant friend is thinking of you, and frying pan, trouble, accusations. Queen of Pentacles can also be a co-worker or someone you know from work. You guys may work in the same field or do something similar for work. You may also be a business owner with the Queen of Pentacles. Okay. We also have Rihanna, Venus, and Scorpio. So it could also be someone um, who's very like... You may have a lot of options. A lot of people could be interested in you. I also see Beyonce with the Queen of Cups, which I love to see. Gemini, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. So being in your heart space, some of you guys are psychic shamans or a lot of people could be falling in love with you. Also, someone could be coming into your life that recognizes the nurturing abilities that you have and they appreciate that in you and you appreciate that in yourself. And I'm also seeing you using your intuition. You could be seen on social media. And also, you may meet someone who comes from a very comforting family. Archway, new opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Somebody works in a factory. Fair man, dealings a relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. October and Bo, you are highly thought of. Okay, so that could be significant to you. Okay, let's get you a charm. I think you got everything. I honestly do. You have the cross. Somebody could be religious, spiritual. Okay. Very beautiful energy there. Let's get you one of these. A fortune. You have 39. 39 breaking down to a 12. Breaking down to a 3. Community. This could be about your community, how you're being publicly recognized. You've drawn today a 39 for business for business deals is very fine. A fortune is your fame in life, is your aim in life, your firm and main desire. Somebody does darts. You'll struggle hard, but don't give up. You'll win if you don't tire. You have made a hasty promise that you regret, but you must keep. You'll get your wish. That's what I got for you, Ephesians. Just take a ride the days, leave all the rest, okay? And... Thank you so much for being here. <laughs> Later, Ophelia. Do what's best for you at the end of the day.